Back with the Blue White Tailgate Show Spring Edition, the much anticipated recruiting segment. There's a lot going on in recruiting. It seems more so um, this year than there was a year ago, Phil. Let's start uh, with Brandon Nosevich. He's a quarterback out of Allentown Central Catholic, uh, six foot two, but uh, he's a run and throw guy. And Phil, uh, Penn State's waiting. He has a lot of interest in the Nittany Lions. Uh, he's a Gatorade Player of the Year. He had over 4,800 yards of offense last year. Penn State's waiting to see what happens with the quarterback position. He visited on March the 26th. Uh, if, if Penn State offers a quarterback in this class, he'll probably be the first one they offer, Jed. Out of the Lehigh Valley. There you're looking at Noah Spence. He's a national recruit now, five-star on rivals, Phil. Maryland's late into the game, but Penn State has Larry Johnson and might be the team to beat here. Uh, he's the number one defensive end in the country. He's from Bishop McDevitt High School in Harrisburg, PA. Big kid, 6'4", 245. Great first two steps. And he is the only defensive end Penn State recruiting. You're looking at J.J. Denman right there out of Pensbury High School, maybe the state's top offensive line recruit, Phil. 6'7", 305 pounds. He's a monster, but he's a legitimate He's a legitimate left tackle, Jed. The kid got great feet, and Notre Dame and Penn State may be the early leader, but he has 27 scholarship offers now. You're looking at Eugene Lewis right down at Wyoming Valley West High School. Uh, quarterback, but translates into the uh, wide receiver position. Uh, listen, he's the best skilled position football player to come out of the coal regions since the rocket that went to Notre Dame from Wilkes-Barre GAR. He's a, a fabulous athlete. That's a big statement he just made there right there. That's Rakib, the rocket Ismail went to Notre Dame. Uh, Penn State already four verbals Phil last year in over 100 days they were staying at four verbals 61 offers out let's take a look and uh, see who's already in the fold and they've gone into Ohio to get an offensive lineman as uh, we look at these uh, particular group so uh, Phil uh, talk to me about the kid from Warren Ohio here real quick okay Anthony Stanko 65302 considered to be one of the top five offensive linemen in Ohio and he's a he's a big kid got good feet probably play offensive guard at Penn State I love Jesse James, <laughs> tight end. He's a, that's just too good to be true. I can't tell you what the message board said about Jesse James Committee. Big kid, 6'7", 250 pounds, second team all state performer. Hate to do this to you, Phil. You got 20 seconds, 61 offers out there. Give me two guys that might verbal here. Okay, uh, Chris Muller, I think he's outstanding uh, offensive lineman from, from Boyertown, Pennsylvania. And, and, and I even might think there's a good chance that Eugene Lewis might make a decision probably by the end of April. So Penn State was 61 letters off, already off to a brilliant start. Coming up on the Blue White Tailgate Show, we look back with head coach Joe Paterno on the legendary career of Fran Fisher, Bobby Ingram, and what's this Legends Leaders thing all about? We'll explain coming up on the Blue White Tailgate Show.